I mean, I like chicken noodle soup too, but dang. All right, everyone, thank you for checking out TRTT. Today's video came to me, you know, by somebody sending it to me on Facebook, like usual. So, the video is kind of crazy. A lady down in Texas gets a cup of soup thrown in her face, but the story behind it is what's interesting. It's shocking video of a customer throwing soup into a restaurant manager's face. The customer ordered a spicy menudo soup. It's a popular Mexican soup, and she claims that it was so hot, it actually melted the top of the takeout container. The incident... I mean, that is insanely hot, right? I mean, I've never even known for one of those lids on top of a takeout container to even warp or melt. Because usually they like the styrofoam cups and then they have that plastic clear lid or whatever. But I've never even seen one of those to even warp. But. But in Temple, Texas, the manager, 24 year old Janelle Roland, says the woman first called to complain. And I, of course, offered her like refunds and was trying to get her either a replacement meal or. Just something completely different if she wasn't in the mood for soup anymore. Um, and she just continued to yell. But the so I guess my concern is if the soup's too hot, will she just let the soup cool down? I mean, I, I, maybe I'm missing something. Does too hot soup make the soup taste different? Now, I would assume that any logical adult, after picking up a soup with a melted lid, wouldn't think, oh my gosh. This melted plastic is not a warning sign at all. I should just grab this cup of amazingly hot soup and consume it. So I would assume that it didn't burn the lady. It kind of was just hot. So, you know, my next thing was let the soup cool down a little bit and eat it. I'm not really sure what motivated it to come keep going. I'm not really sure. You know, if it was too hot. I mean, for me, it wouldn't have been a big deal. I've heated up things and they've gotten too hot before and I just let them cool down. Or I got soup cooler, so I would just blew on my soup and been done with it. Showed up to confront her in person. Surveillance video shows the customer pointing to the melted plat. I mean, you can see the part right there that it looks like it's melted. I mean, maybe it was, but I've just never heard of a soup. I mean, the soup had to be boiling in that container for it to melt like that. And... I just think it's crazy to be able to, somebody going to take bowl and soup and put it in there. But, you know, who says that she wasn't trying to reheat it and boil it herself? I don't know. Some people do crazy things and they want to blame it on other people. You know, maybe it did melt and she got plastic in her soup. So she wants to complain. I really don't know. But her actions were still not really justified. Lid. She just still continued to yell, make a scene, um, and still still cursing with, you know, families and other children in the restaurant. And that's when I said, you know, ma'am, you either need to calm down or leave, and or I'm going to be calling the police. And I said, ma'am, I can still help you and get you something. I just So, which is legit, right? So, you can come in and you can have your complaint, but when you're disturbing the business and you're causing a scene and there's other people and their families in there, you know, you can make people feel super uncomfortable. So, I can completely understand the manager saying, hey, I can help you out with this, but if you're going to continue to act belligerent, you, you might have to leave before I can help you. I want to help you. However, you can't just do what you're doing and things just be okay. You don't yell and cuss at me. And that's the moment she threw it at me. When cooked, soup can reach a temperature in excess of 200 degrees. Fortunately, the soup had cooled down when it was thrown into her face. But she says it still stung. The warmth of the soup was... So first off, if you would have threw a 200 degree soup in someone's face, you going to jail and you might get physical. I mean, I would be in immense pain if I had gotten a soup thrown in my face that was 200 degrees. I don't know who wouldn't. I mean, that's insane. I mean, your hot water tank goes up to like 140 and that will scald you and destroy you. But, you know, thank goodness it was cool. Enough to really burn me. I mean, as you can see, I have no injuries from that itself, but the spices from the soup are what my eyes were stinging so bad. They were burning. And the spices were all like inside of the top part of my nose and it caused Damn. me to have a nosebleed. The customer walked out, but she has been identified. And according to social media accounts, she's a nurse at a local hospital. It's so shocking to watch. If you fired. She's going to end up getting fired because of this. I mean, people need to understand it. You can't go out and do stuff. You can't be a health care provider, correct? And then assault somebody and... 
you're, you're sending business to the hospital. You, you really can't do that. You can't. I mean, can you imagine this person as a co-worker working with somebody who, who was that short fuse? Can you imagine being a patient and needing something and having to call on this nurse? I mean, it is insane. You're going to get mad at somebody over the soup being too hot. And you're going to throw the soup in their face. You come back and throw the soup in their face. I would say nothing her that day was going her way. Or this is just kind of a characteristic or a personality trait. I mean, I feel like this is how this lady handles issues. Either she can't handle them at work or she gets home and she loses it on her family. Beach World, what would you say to her? I really don't have anything to say to her. I just kind of really hope that she learns her lesson that people are not going to tolerate being treated that way ever. Police are investigating. Yeah, yeah. So if police have already investigated it, yeah, she's going to get fired. And to determine whether charges will be filed. Yeah. If you throw a hot soup in somebody's face and you burn their eyes and you come into their place of employment, something's going to happen. I'm not sure if the manager is going to press charges. However, I would be pissed enough that I would because you just don't do that to people. And, you know, you, you just it's it's completely something a toddler would do a, a temper tantrum you can't have what you like on your plate you shove the whole plate down to the floor but this lady and for those of you who do not agree that she's going to get fired they found on social media who she is they found out she's a nurse you think that they're just going to let that slide because as i've stated you become branded with your employer so if she works for abc hospital ABC Hospital is going to be in the headlines. It's going to say a nurse at ABC Hospital attacked a store manager and threw a soup in her face. They're going to they're not going to leave that information out. And as soon as the ABC Hospital starts to get backlash about that, they're going to have to do something. And it's going to be in saying, hey, the former nurse of ABC Hospital did this. Because they're not going to stand behind that and then they're going to lay out a statement stand, stating how they themselves are here to help support and help make the community stronger, not tear it apart. But anyways, that's my thoughts on that video. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. It is kind of crazy, but we're going to keep the next videos interesting for you as well.